So of course in field trips like these we are prepared to drive to certain locations where we have locality data from but it's always worth checking new places in between or right and left high up the slope or down the slope in case we were able to discover something new which no one did before and in this area is basically something that could potentially be another missing species in a newly established uh, genus or maybe in a newly established species complex so we will check the area get some footage for you guys and i'm pretty hopeful that we're going to find a specimen here now after a very epic start of the clip i really hope you will go just down with us and enjoy the beauty of this newly discovered tarantula species this time it's not about the highlands we are back down around 2000 meters above sea level and the temperatures were just scorching like 35 degrees celsius and we did manage to find a lot of these amazingly colored tarantulas in this vast landscape you see here there were so many flies and mosquitoes and other biting insects that we just didn't make it like for many hours there we basically just searched for like one or two specimens took a lot of video pictures and other data and then just decided to head back straight to the car and go back up into higher elevations but look at these amazing tarantulas they really don't need a lot of words one of its kind and we have no idea to what genus it actually belongs definitely not a highland species that's for sure luckily we did find this species here we have no idea what it is and it has a single uh, urticating patch on the abdomen so it is not a bistriopelma species that's for sure um, and it's also not a hapolotremo species so yeah all we can do for now is collect information pictures video temperature data measurements and then head back and check with colleagues and friends who potentially can give us a guess and in the next field trip we were able to collect them on the permit or ideally someone else from our colleagues in the meanwhile is able to go to Peru and collect samples for further research. So that's it for now and we will now drive all the way uh, to another location in the hope that we're going to find a tarantula species there. Cheers! super windy up here so the mic quality will not be the best but we did find another tarantula species in this area great success because it is one of the many which are undescribed and undocumented so we'll get all the gps data size data and natural history data of this very specimen of course we'll show you some pictures here of course we'll take you to the journey some epic drone footage of the surroundings you can hopefully experience uh, this landscape here in Peru same time as uh, we do so enjoy watching and uh, we'll continue searching the area a little bit more Now back from the epic music and drone shots back to the actual spider we found in this area around 4200 meters above sea level in this grasslands underneath rocks where was it just about 15 degrees celsius so quite cold this looks like a dwarf specimen because it's only two centimeters in body length and definitely adult 
So these adult females we found here belong most likely to a dwarf species of the genus Haplotremus, and we will be happy working on this in the near future. So now this is another spot where we will take some drone pictures, natural history data, just for the sake of experience Peru and its amazing uh, natural landscape and beauty. There will be some measurements going on, regardless if we find any tarantulas, but it's just amazing to know what temperatures actually are on the surface and underneath uh, the rocks we find here. We'll drive this road up a little bit more, get some drone pictures and footage and uh, yeah, search for tarantulas. Hopefully we're going to find one. Next short stop on our trip to another known location. We invested like five minutes and found two specimens with these and another third one more up in the hill. Um, we have no idea what exact species it is, not even a close genus contender. So that's all we can say for now. Um, I know there is work going on with this group of spider and uh, therefore we collect all possible data we can and um, in the meanwhile you guys can enjoy the landscape, the spiders and some temperature measurements so you actually get to know on how cold they actually have it here up in the highlands so another successful tarantula as an avid viewer of our videos you know that we never purposely feed the wild tarantulas we find in the wild, so this time is no exception. We did not feed this tarantula with a huge cockroach, it just happened to be under the very same rock and as we turned the rock we saw the tarantula and we saw the cockroach. Cockroach began to run away and the tarantula therefore was so hungry that it just immediately grabbed the roach. And you see the size difference? There is like almost no size difference, they are almost the same. And this little tarantula is just fighting the cockroach. Apparently, she or he is very hungry. And at this current moment, we don't have any idea to what species this actually belongs to. It appears to be a smaller looking tarantula and smaller in size. But maybe it will just grow a little bit bigger because actually we did not have a lot of time in this area. It was one of the stops we just drove by spent five to ten minutes turning some rocks and if we did find any signs of spiders then we continued our search so therefore we drove a little bit further away into this region here and here we found one of the most exciting finds so we managed to find another Vistriopelma species and other undescribed ones so extremely happy that we've found this one here and I know that this genus is being worked on, so in the near future there will be a name accompanied to this amazing specimen. Adult female, a little bit bigger than the last one we found, and now we will return her back into her burrow because the photo shoot is already done. Cheers! Now, the finding of this amazing looking tarantula of the genus Bistriopelma was just remarkable. We searched for this species for quite some time because it's still a undescribed species, but colleagues of us are working on the description of this amazingly colored black and orange Bistriopelma from the highlands of Peru. And as you see, unlike many other tarantulas, this species within the genus Pistriopelma does have two separate distinct urticating hair patches. So 
the field where their urticating hairs are present are two separate patches on the black abdomen separated by this orange copper looking patches and this is basically one of the characteristics of the genus Bistriopelma. Now this is not unique among all tarantulas around the world. If you remember we have found a species from the genus Frixotrichus in Chile who also has these two different and completely separate patches of urticating hairs on the abdomen. Nevertheless Pistriopelma was very high on our wish list for our trip to Peru because these tarantulas just look so remarkable and we are happy that they did not only find just one of the described ones but actually a undescribed and new to science Pistriopelma species which is at the moment currently in description. So I hope you've enjoyed our past field trip experiences from Peru and I hope that you'll just check out our next and coming videos in this very season. Stay tuned, leave a like in the comment and hopefully subscribe to the channel. See you next time.